Hello everyone, this is Jay Kim from Park System. Uh, today in this session, I'm going to talk about electrical measurement using AFM, the Atomic First Microscope. The title is in here, a comparative study for surface potential mapping using KPFM. Uh, there are several options for electrical properties measurement using AFM, but in this talk, I will discuss KPFM, the Kelvin Probe First Microscope. It is one of the most famous and most popular AFM options for electrical, electrical property measurement. Of course, AFM is the technique for surface topography measurement, the height measurement. But using AFM, we can also explore many kinds of properties like electrical, mechanical, magnetic, thermal, and electrochemical properties. And among these modes, of course, these all AFM modes are quite useful and important. But today, I'm going to focus on electrical property measurement, especially the KPFM. The KPFM is the advanced technique of EFM, the electrostatic force microscope. And usually EFM is for measuring electrical property of a sample surface by applying an electric field between conductive AFM tip and sample. But the result of AFM is AFM amplitude and phase, and it is for relative comparison. But in KPFM, the main outputs are surface potential and work function. And these enables quantitative, quantitative analysis. And this figure shows schematic diagram of EFM and KPFM. Both EFM and KPFM modes, the first locking, uh, I need one. The first locking amplifier is used for non-contact imaging. It means this first one is just for height image, like conventional one, the AFM. But here is the second one, second lock locking amplifier, and this second one is used for electrical signal. And the main difference between EFM and KPFM is applying the DC bias for this by subval. Like this. When the servo is off, this is just EFM. But when we apply the DC bias for T by servo, the servo on, it is KPFM. So once again, in AFM, just ACT bias is applied for electrical signal. But in KPFM, DC bias, AC, AC bias with the DC bias is applied to monitor the sample's surface potential. Uh, here, more detailed one. And this equation shows the total voltage between AFM tip and sample. Uh, so I need a laser point, yes. Here, this equation shows the total voltage between AFM tip and sample. And this one can be expressed by a followed equations. And in here, system track this term and make this term zero by applying the DC bias. So collecting this DC bias can make can make sample surface potential mapping the imaging. And like this, the front figure KPFM shows us show the surface potential negative or positive with height information simultaneously. Well, let me show you just one good example of KPFM. And the sample is F14H20, the floor and alkanes. And the image shows the clear contrast depends on their electrical properties. And this electrical signal, for uh, some reason, follow the height structure, but 
some structure like those circular structures indicate a totally different aspect. It's quite it is not followed by height image. It is just samples on surface potential. And like this, we can clearly monitor the electrical signal of a sample surface using KPFM. Well, at this slide, uh, I'd like to discuss about the sensitivity of KPFM. Of course, there are so many sort of the factors for KPFM sensitivity, but AFM cantilever is one of the main factor, one of the most important main factor. Well, from the conclusion, based on the uh, seri series, the KPFM sensitivity affected by cantilever's spring constant and cantilever's length. So, as the length of the cantilever or spring constant increases, increases the KFFM sensitivity decreases. The conventional one, or we can also say the amplitude modulation KPFM, usually detects the electrostatic force and it can be affected by entire, the whole cantilever. It means the KPFM sensitivity can be changed depends on AFM cantilever type. But the sideband KPFM, the new one, it is based on the frequency modulation technique. And also we can say this is the best one. So yeah, anyway, this sideband KPFM utilizes the, utilize local interaction between tip FX and sample surface due to the short range of the first gradient. So it has a better spatial resolution and much less affected by cantilever tie. Here is the simple principle of the sideband KFFM. And the cantilever has his own less on the frequency and it oscillated at F0. Yes, here F0. This is the cantilever's own lessons frequency. And when FAC, the AC bias is applied, then we can see the sideband peak. Here F0, negative, not minus FAC, and in here F0 plus FAC. These two is a sideband peak. And by applying the by applying the DC bias and it matches the contact potential difference between FM T band sample surface, these two sides band peak F0 plus minus FAC just disappear. So when we track apply the DC voltage, DC bias, then we can know and we can see the surface potential of this sample surface. And this figure shows the schematic diagram of sideband KPFM. The others are just same as AM KPFM. But, oh, here, here, like this. The first one is just for the topography, height image. And the second, the other locking amplifier is just for electrical property measurement. But in sideband KPFM, we need the one more locking amplifier, like this third one. So it means just two locking amplifier are used to generate the sideband. The second one is for the left sideband peak, and this third one is for the light sideband peak. But others are just similar. Well, let me show you some comparison images between AM and sideband KPFM. This sample is again F14H20 on silicon substrate. Of course, we can investigate, we can see the, see the electrical properties 
and see the some contrast between F14H20 and substrate. But signal like a large solution and noise level are totally different. As from the image and light profile, the sideband KPFM has much better performance. Much clear image. And regarding thin layer like this HOPG, uh, we can see the difference. In AM KPFM, uh, lawfully the signal contrast is checked, but in sideband KPFM, we can clearly monitor, we can clearly, clearly monitor the sur surface potential signal depends on layer by layer. And also just small fragment can be seen. And from the line profile analysis, the sideband KPFM has better spatial resolution and also the noise level is much better. And next, we directly compare the electrical signal depends on cantilever time. As I mentioned, the KPFM sensitivity affected by cantilever time, like spring constant and cantilever, cantilever length. So here, we choose the three kinds of cantilever and compare them using, compare the, compare the, these three kinds of cantilevers using AM and sideband KFFM. The cantilever candidates are here. Point, okay. So the first one is NCHAU, the NCH gold, and it has a 42 neutron per meter of a spring constant and 125 micrometer of length. And the second one is the NSC18, the chrome gold, and this and constant is just 22.5, but length is 225 micrometer. And the last one is NSC36 chrome gold, the C lever, and it has a just 0.6 newton per meter of spring constant, and the length is the 130, 130 micrometer. So we can say the first one, the NCHAU, the gold, has a hardest cantilever. And the second one, the length of the, this, length of this cantilever is the longest one. And this third one, the last one, has the smallest and shortest cantilever. So, once again, as the length of the cantilever or spring constant increases, the KPFM sensitivity decreases. So from the theory, the NCH gold, the high spring constant, and NSC18 chrome gold, the long cantilever, have poor resolution. And the lizard, it is quite well match it with the theoretical background. The small K value, the spring constant, and short cantilever, in this case, NSC36, has much better image quality at AM KPFM. It means the lizard, the image is highly affected by cantilever time. And next is the same, it's same measurement. Same sample, same cantilevers, but it measured by sideband KPFM. Interesting thing is there is almost no difference between cantilever types, just quite similar images. And the leisure shows, these images shows that similar KPFM image quality and this leisure is quite good evidence for supporting the strong point of sideband KPFM. The sensitivity of sideband KFFM only affected by just tip FX, not the whole, the entire cantilever. So the image quality is almost similar for all three cantilevers type. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is my last slide. To sum up, uh, first one, of course, the AFM can explore Loss of samples properties, as well as height information. 
And among those AFM options, the KPFM can measure the electrical properties of simple surface, such as conductivity, surface potential, and work function. And this KPFM, the signal sensitivity is affected by the cantilever type, like a spring constant or length of the cantilever. The conventional technique, AEM KPFM, just detects the electrostatic force and it affected by whole can entire cantilever. But new one, the new advanced one, the sideband KPFM detects first gradient and it affected by just tip apex. So the sideband KPFM has better spatial resolution than AM KPFM. And also, the sideband KPFM is much less affected by cantilever types. Thank you for your attention. Uh, if you have any questions, just not only KPFM, but just all about AFM, please contact us. You can also go to the, our webpage or you can email us. Thank you again and hope to see you next time.